Hi guys, it's me Jessica and welcome to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on this really easy makeup look. Also, I would like to note, please ignore my swollen jaw. I don't know if it's noticeable on camera, but I have a swollen jaw and it really hurts to talk, but I really wanted to film today for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I'm here. Um, I have a freshly washed face, also moisturized it and I filled in my eyebrows got a clean slate to work on. Okay, so we're going to start on the eyes now. So of course we're gonna prime our eyelids. I'm gonna be using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Always use this, love it, it's my fave. Just gonna apply this to my eyelids with my finger. And I really wanna do like a really nice soft eye look today. I wanna do a really nice soft glam. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers do this, but basically they've been taking like any translucent powder and they've been setting their primer. So I wanna try that. So this is my Morphe E21 brush. I'm just gonna take some of my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So I'm just setting my eyelids. Okay, so first I'm gonna dip into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm gonna dip into the shade Georgia. It's just this shade right here. I'm gonna take it on my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just gonna blend this all up in my crease area and use this as my transition shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into my Kylie Sweet Peach palette and I'm gonna put more shadows in the crease. And I'm gonna take this shade called Sorbet and I'm gonna take this on the same Sigma E40 brush. Just put this into the crease even more. I absolutely love the mirror on this palette. I'm going to take the blending brush that comes in the Kylie palette. I'm going to take the shade Cinnamon. This is probably my favorite shade out of the entire palette. I'm just going to put this into the outer third of my lid and deepen up the crease with this. I kind of want to do a halo eye, so I'm actually going to bring this shade Cinnamon and I'm just actually going to put this into the inner third of my lids too. Actually, I'm gonna take a more precise brush. I'm gonna take my Sigma E45 brush, it's a little bit more tapered, and I'm gonna place the shadow Cinnamon, just the same shadow. I'm gonna place this in the inner third of my eyelids. And I'm just going to take that Kylie brush and I'm just gonna blend everything together. You gotta blend, you gotta, gotta blend. All you gotta do is blend. Okay, so I'm gonna dip back into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So first I'm gonna take the shade Peaches and Cream and I'm gonna place this in the center of my eyelids. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shade Nectar right here. It's so pretty. This is one of my favorite shimmers in this palette. I'm just gonna place this in the middle of my eyelids. Ooh, this color is so pretty. It can make me tear up. I'm using Padding Motions. This will make it look a little bit more seamless and blended. So I'm actually going to be taking the shade Summer Yum. This is also one of my favorite shades. It reminds me of the shade Cinnamon in the Kylie palette. But I'm just going to take this and kind of diffuse the edges of the shimmer shade and kind of blend everything together. Okay, so that's it for the eyes right now. I'm going to be putting on some lashes mascara and I'm going to line my eyes a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I applied my Misha lashes because these are honestly just my faves. I feel like they're perfect for this kind of soft eye look. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the face now or at least start it because we haven't even started it yet okay so i'm gonna be taking my Too Faced hangover primer i'm just gonna dab this on my cheek areas because i'm gonna be using another primer for my nose area I'm gonna rub that in okay so i'm gonna be taking my benefit pore professional primer and i'm gonna put these places where i get oily and ginormous pore areas i'm gonna put this on my forehead because this is a mattifying primer so this will ensure that no oils seep through throughout the day i didn't put on some mascara because i'm like freaked out i'm looking in the mirror and i'm like wow i have falsies on but i can see my lashes so i'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara i'm gonna take my marc jacobs liner i need to buy this in full size because i've been using this trial size for so long and i feel like i'm running out already i'm gonna go ahead and tight line my eyes Okay, I'm gonna apply some Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte. I'm gonna use this to combine my real lashes with my false lashes. Okay, so now that that situation is fixed, I'm gonna go ahead and prime with some Mario Badescu face water. Rose water, face water. Looks like I just took a shower. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I did a review on this. Really love this foundation. I've been using it nonstop. So I'm gonna just take this on my booty blender and I'm just gonna blend this into my face. I'm just taking one pump first and I'm just gonna go from there. I feel like my beauty blender has actually dried up a bit. So I'm gonna take some of my MAC Fix Plus. Just gonna spritz it on there to help with the blending. Oh yeah, there we go. It's a lot better. Ooh, how am I gonna blend on the other side of my face? I just realized that. It's gonna hurt later. I already know. Ow, ow, ow. 
Okay, I cannot blend foundation there. It hurts so much. I took ibuprofen, but there's only so much medicine can do. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're just gonna ignore this patch on my face. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. So I got a new concealer over the weekend, and it is a drugstore concealer. It's a Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I have it in the shade number 20, which is sand. And I'm just gonna apply this where I wanna highlight. I'm also gonna put it on the sides of my nose to act as some contour. Putting it on the sides of the nose will kind of cancel the shadows and make the nose appear slimmer. That's why I always do this. So I'm gonna put it down the bridge to highlight up here. Just gonna take my beauty blender again, spritz it with some more MAC Fix Plus. It's gonna blend away. Ooh, I like this concealer. This is the first time I'm using this concealer and it's blending out really, really nicely. Not bad, Maybelline, not bad. Okay, so today I'm gonna try baking. I haven't baked in a while because I just haven't really found a powder that doesn't give me a white cast. Personally, I stopped using Laura Mercier powder because I found that it gave me white cast and it gave me flashback. And people said that this doesn't give flashback, so I'm giving it another go. Giving it a second chance, see what's gonna happen. Just applying this powder with my beauty blender on the places where I applied concealer. Okay, I'll be back in about five minutes. I'm gonna wait for this to bake and then we'll continue on with the tutorial. My handmade pan fried, sun fried, south side, and beat the double by a landslide. It looks so good with the hat on, it's a mess with your shoes. Okay, I think I'm done baking. Um. Okay, so now I'm just taking my Sigma Tapered Face Brush, this is the F25. I'm just gonna brush away the bake. Ooh, there's no white cast. Okay, maybe I was wrong about the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Maybe I was wrong. Wow, my under eyes look so airbrushed, you don't see my texture or pores. Hair, what are you doing? Get out, what are you get away all the face powder now it's time to contour it's time to contour <sighs> i need to contour this freaking lumpy jawline jawline this isn't even a jawline anymore it's just a lump on my face like okay so actually before i contour i'm gonna take some mac fix plus and i'm just I'm gonna spritz my face just a little bit just, just a little bit i'm gonna take my kat von d shade and light palette you already know this is my favorite face palette at the moment and honestly i don't really want to contour that much i'm not really into contouring that much but I'm just gonna take this shade right here. It's a little bit cool toned. Actually, maybe I'll take this warmer shade right here. The middle shade, I'm just gonna take this giant fluffy bronzer brush. This is the Morphe M527. I'm just gonna bronze up my face. Let's bronze up that giant forehead. Really quick, I'm gonna take that F25 from a while ago. I'm gonna take my favorite shade in this palette. I'm just gonna place this under my eyes, just a little bit more powder. I'm also gonna put a little bit on my forehead. Just a little bit. But I wanna go ahead and try and contour my nose. I've never done it before, so I wanna do it. I brought my Benefit Hula Bronzer for this. I feel like this is the perfect nose contouring shade. I'm just gonna take this It Cosmetics brush. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, but I wanna try to use this for contouring my nose. I'm gonna take a little bit. Tap off the excess, then I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna attempt to snatch this nose. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to wipe off all that excess bronzer on my brush and I'm gonna try to blend everything out. Oh, that looks a lot better. Okay, and I'm just gonna go over it with my powder brush again just to soften up those harsh lines. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up the under eye area. So I'm going to go back into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So I'm just gonna take the shade Summer Yum and I'm gonna take my E25 Short Shader Brush from Sigma. I'm just gonna place this on the outer thirds of my lower lash line and the inner thirds. I just put shadow on my nose. That's just great. On the middle of the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the shade Nectar and I'm gonna place it there with this Anastasia brush. I think this is just a brush from my Modern Renaissance palette. Okay, wow, that actually looks really cool, I like it. Take just this white crayon chubby eye pencil and then I'm gonna place this on my waterline. Jeffree Star hack. Just gently pull a little bit and then you can put eyeliner on your waterline. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some lower lash mascara. I'm gonna use my lower lash mascara or bottom lash mascara from Clinique. 
Okay, so now time for some blush. Okay, so I bought this over the weekend too. It's still wet and wild blush, and this is in the shade Mellow Wine. I'm gonna take my Morphe E4 brush, and this stuff is so pigmented, so I'm just going to lightly dab on all the excess because this stuff is so pigmented. I just spit in the blush. That's just great. Okay. Place this on the apples of my cheeks. Why am I looking in this? There's literally no mirror. What am I doing? Just the right amount of pigment. Ooh, this blush is so pretty and it's so affordable. This is like two, three bucks. Now time for some highlight. Love highlight, I love highlight so much. Highlight is love, highlight is life, highlight is everything. Highlight just completes me. Somebody put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna take an old favorite of mine, the Anastasia Sumit's Glow Kit. I did a review on this. This is one of my favorite highlighting palettes. So I think I'm gonna take the shade Taffy and mix it with the shade Butterscotch. I'm gonna place these on my cheekbones. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my brow bone. Oh my god, I haven't even set my brows yet. Give me a sec, I need to set these puppies. Okay, I'm gonna set it with my Benefit Gimme Brow if I can find it. Where are you? <laughs> Give me the Gimme Brow. <laughs> wow, Jessica, stop. Okay, well, um, I lost my Benefit Gimme Brow. Don't know where it is. I guess I'm just gonna have to let my freaking long ass eyebrow hairs just go free. But first, I'm just gonna line my lips with this Spice Lip Liner from MAC. Okay, I'm gonna think I'm gonna try the shade Stepping Out from Smashbox. I love the applicator on this, it's my fave. This is one of my favorite formulas. It's a really nice lightweight formula. It feels so nice on the lips. I'm gonna put a little bit of lip gloss in the center just for a little added oomph. This is the shade Literally from Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna pat that in with my fingers. Okay, I'm just gonna spray my face with some Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, I think that is it for this makeup tour. I'm just gonna wait for the spray to dry and then I'm gonna do the outro. Okay, so this is the finished look. Isn't it pretty? I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below any video requests that you have for me. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that little notification button. You know you want to click it. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you so, so, so much. Bye! I discovered that I could do a really good Botox face. Wait, I have to get into character though. We have a visitor, and his name is Coco.